Be the solution to water pollution is the need of the hour. The major effects of water pollution is the damage to the food chain. When harmful toxins are present in water, they are transferred to higher level organisms through the food chain. Heavy metals like lead, mercury, iron, cadmium, aluminium and magnesium are present in water sources. If these metals are present in the sediment, they reach the food chain through plants and aquatic animals. This causes heavy metal poisoning in the water. Polluted water is a hot bed for diseases. Microbial water pollution can spread infectious diseases such as typhoid and cholera from drinking contaminated water. Water pollutants alter the overall chemistry of the water causing changes in acidity, conductivity and temperature. These in turn have an effect on their marine life. Heavy rain carries up dirt and silt and deposit them into the water. If the dirt and silt settle in the water body, then these sediments prevent sunlight from reaching aquatic plants. If the sunlight can't reach the plants, they perish. These sediments also clog up fish gills and suffocate organisms that live on the bottom of the body of the water. If oil is spilled on the water due to accidents, the effects on the ecosystem and the components are harmful. Many animals can get destroyed in case they swallow oil. Things we can do to reduce water pollution are Do not pour fat from cooking or any other type of fat, oil or grease down the sink. Keep a fat jar under the sink to collect the fat and discard in the solid waste when full. Do not dispose of household chemicals or cleaning agents down the sink or toilet. Avoid using the toilet as a waste basket. Most tissues, wrappers, dust cloths and other paper goods should be properly discarded in a waste basket. Do not flush pills, liquid or powder medications or drugs down the toilet. Install a water efficient toilet. Run the dishwasher or clothes washer only when you have a full load. This conserves electricity and water. Use the minimum amount of detergent and or bleach when you are washing clothes or dishes. Use only phosphate free soaps and detergents. Minimize the use of pesticides, herbicides, fertilizers. Do not dispose of these chemicals, motor oil or other automotive fluids into the sanitary sewer or storm sewer systems. Both of them enter the river. If you do your part to prevent pollution in your area, then you will be helping to protect water for both yourself and everything else that relies upon this precious resource. So be one more to save the shore.